Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through some challenging uh, integration using substitution. Uh, example number one, use the substitution x is equal to cosec t to evaluate this integral between limits 2 over square root of 3 and 2 and 1 over x squared into the root of x squared minus 1 with respect to x. So one thing that we need to watch out for is we need to use a trigonometric identity to help us with this substitution problem. And also, our integral has limits and we're conducting a substitution. So remember, we need to work out the new limits of integration using this substitution for this particular problem. So, step number one. Our substitution is x is equal to cosec t. So I'm going to take that and work out dx by dt. So let's differentiate, okay? So when we differentiate cosec t, it's minus cosec t cot t. And dx is minus cosec t cot t dt. Okay, so this is where I like to stop and think. So black star means stop and think. So if we go back to this integral, we can replace the dx here by minus cosec t cot t dt. And we can replace the x's here by cosec t. However, we have limits. We need to use our substitution to work out the new limits. Okay, so that takes us to step three. First of all, let me work out the new lower limit. So, new lower limit. So, to work out the new limits, you take your substitution, which is x is equal to cosec t. You take the old limit, so the old lower limit is x is equal to 2 over root 3. And you put this into your substitution. So if we put this in, we're going to have 2 over root 3 for x, and that is equal to cosec t. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a cosec function in our calculator. Okay. But remember, cosec is 1 over sine. Okay. So 1 over sine t is therefore 2 over root 3. So when I rearrange, sine t, therefore, is root 3 over 2. And when you work out t, that's a standard result. The inverse sine of root 3 over 2 is pi over 3. So that's a standard result, okay? So, which is equivalent to 60 degrees. So that is our new lower limit. So t is equal to pi over 3. That relates to the new lower limit. Let's work out the new upper limit. So on the reverse, new upper limit. So going back to our integral, the old upper limit is x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2. Let's take our substitution, x is equal to cosec t, and let's replace the x by 2, giving us 2 is equal to cosec t. Remember, cosec is 1 over sine, and if we rearrange this, sine t, therefore, is half, okay? And t is the inverse sine of half, and that is a standard result, pi over 6, okay? So it's pi over 6 radians, which is the same as 30 degrees, okay? So that is step number 3, working out the new limits of our integration for this substitution, okay? So we have everything that we need to go through the substitution process. So remember, dx is going to be replaced by... Uh, minus cosec t cot t dt. X's are going to be replaced by cosec t. The new lower limit is pi over 3. And uh, the new upper limit we worked out as pi over 6. Okay? So, 
that takes us to the next step. So step number four. So by substitution, let's rewrite the integral that we have in question. So in this case, dx first of all is minus cosec t cot t dt. Okay, so let's do that replacement. So minus cosec t cot t dt. Okay, let's take a green pen and check that. So that's been replaced, dx. And over x squared, so over, now x remember is our substitution cosec t. So divided by cosec t squared into the square root. Okay. X squared again is cosec t squared minus 1. So in this case, cosec t squared minus 1. Okay. So going back to the integral in question. We've replaced these terms, let's check them off. Let's not forget the limits. New lower limit is pi over three. So let's include that over here. So pi over three. And let's check that. And the new upper limit, pi over six. Okay, so it's pi over six. And let's check that. So we replace everything, and this is what we need to take care of now. So in this case, let's continue, let's simplify this. So also remember what we discussed earlier. So before starting this problem, at some stage we'll be using a trigonometric identity. So bear that in mind, yeah? So let's simplify this. So we have pi over three, pi over six as our limits, minus, cosec t cot t over the cosec t squared and when we expand the brackets we'll have cosec squared t minus the one okay so you could just as well cancel one of the cosecs by a cosec term below so you can only cancel one of the terms leaving you with a cosec t in the denominator, okay? But this takes us to step five, the identity stage. So we need an identity to help us simplify the term within our integral, specifically this root term. And the identity for us is this one. One plus cot squared t is equal to cosec squared t. So this is one of the Pythagorean identities, okay? So if we rearrange this, you might find that cot t is the root of cosec squared t minus one, precisely this root term here. So let's replace the cosec squared t minus one, okay? So the root of cosec squared t minus one by cot t. So we're gonna have the integral between pi over three, pi over six, okay, of minus cot t on the top, divided by cosec t, and the root of cosec squared t minus one, we had cot t from the rearrangement of this identity with respect to t. So by doing this, these two cot t terms will cancel and we're left to integrate between limits pi over 3, pi over 6. And remember, in, in trigonometry, 1 over cosec is sine. So we're going to have a minus, don't forget this minus, sine t with respect to t to integrate. Okay? So let's integrate that and a fresh piece of paper is in order. So let me continue here. 
So when we integrate sine, so integration of sine is minus cos, two minuses, this minus and the minus uh, from the integration of sine will make it, so let me continue over here, uh, cos t, so we need to apply our limits here to cos, the limits are pi over 3 and pi over 6 and when we replace the limits, so upper limit goes in first, so it's cos of t which is pi over 6 minus cos of the lower limit which is pi over 3 okay so this is what we need to calculate okay and uh, cos of pi over 6 that's a standard result you're going to have root 3 over 2 so you can just as well check on your calculators but cos of pi over 6 is a standard result okay uh, minus and cos of pi over 3 also a standard result that is half okay and I'm going to take a common factor of half leaving me with root 3 minus 1 okay so this is the final solution to this problem that we have okay So here are the steps involved with this uh, integration substitution related problem. So I've made it as detailed as possible, broke down the method uh, in terms of steps. Okay, But remember, um, if you're applying a trigonometric substitution, at some stage of your method, you'll be using a trigonometric identity. So please bear this in mind. Okay. So that ends this example and that ends the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.